Um, today I'm just going to share another gift wrapping idea. It's interesting actually, um, I love this ribbon. This is just a red, it's almost like a canvasy kind of a ribbon, but it has the, the wire in, in the edges of it. So it's, it's got great form and dimension. This one is actually one that quite honestly, I don't know that I would have purchased. A whole bunch of ribbon was given to me by a friend recently and uh, of course I was excited to be able to use it uh, for this new project of mine, the launching of this YouTube channel. And it's not something that would really catch my eye, but when I, I found this paper kind of in my storage um, my storage closet with all my, my gift wrapping supplies and I thought, oh, I could really make it um, dress up a present pretty because the lines and the daisies kind of go together nicely. So anyway, I'm just going to share and we'll see how we can make this look. So in this, for this gift, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use both kinds of ribbon and I'm going to um, use the red one across widthwise and then this one I'm going to use across lengthwise. It's a matter of just kind of getting them lined up here properly. Of course you're going to kind of even out the ribbons. Now what I'm going to do with this one actually is I'm going to tie it at the same time. So I'm actually going to kind of grab it all together and um, I'm just going to tie a knot in the middle. It's going to be a bit tricky when you're doing two at once but I love the look of having um, two different ribbons going different ways. So I'm just going to tie that. come across and make a little knot actually. Now it can slip a little bit because I'm using two so I'm going to kind of pull that tight again and then pull it across uh, just to knot it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make the, um, the bow actually with this daisy ribbon. It doesn't have any wire in it but again um, it's kind of a sheer fabric and it, it, it does kind of hold its shape not too bad. So if you've watched any of my other videos you'll know that I love to kind of um, create dimension is one of the things I like to do with the bows or with the decorations that I put on. I think the more kind of 3D it looks the better. This is kind of sitting a little wonky but you can just kind of play with it. I love that I can take the red ribbon that has a bit um, more of an ability to kind of hold its shape because of the wire in it and play with um, the two together. So for this gift what I'm going to do is um, I actually went through some of my old scrapbooking stuff and um, these were things that I actually had uh, um, when I'm scrapbooking sometimes I make different embellishments and then I don't end up using them. Sometimes I play with um, you know things like um, watercolor or pencil crayon um, but um, I had remembered that I had done these little daisies and I put just a little yellow button in the middle of them. So I didn't make this specifically for this gift. I had it already made. So this was something I had cut out on my Cricut and, um, and then I had uh, put some string through the button and uh, just glued the button on. And I thought, oh, I just like the kind of the idea of having the daisy with. Um, with the daisy ribbon. So I just dug these out. Um, you can buy a lot of these kinds of embellishments um, in Michael's or some of the other craft stores. And then this was again something I had from scrapbooking. It, it could be used as a gift tag but um, you could also use it in a scrapbooking layout. And so a lot of the things I use are things that maybe weren't intended for gift wrapping but um, I just repurposed them uh, for that. So I'm just gonna put this on. Um, I'm not sure this gift is actually for someone. Um, I may or may not actually um, use a permanent marker and use this as the tag, you know, just with kind of to and from on it. Or I may just um, leave it as just kind of a little bit of an extra embellishment. And then I thought that all I would do to kind of to finish this particular gift off is I would just hot glue um, the little daisy on there just to kind of add a little bit to the middle. And again, you can you can continue to play with the colors. You might want to kind of put these together if you want, the like kind of the layered look of the red under the daisy to help give that daisy one a little bit more dimension. It, there's really no right or wrong. The key is that I think sometimes we quit before we get it just right. And I just find that the more you play with it, um, the better you can get kind of that finished look. So um, all I'm going to do is I've got my old glue gun here. It might be a bit outside the frame, but I'm just going to use uh, some hot glue 
and uh, I'm just going to kind of add that to the middle just to add a little extra to that gift. And there it is, a beautiful gift, um, nicely wrapped and, and really in and of itself the paper's nothing special and really the ribbon isn't either. In fact, like I said, this wouldn't be ribbon that I would choose, but when it all comes together, we get this beautiful gift and, um, and it just creates lots of interest because there's lots of different elements to it. So um, I hope these are some ideas that you'll be able to use. Thank you.